What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and Ryu is probably one of the most underdeveloped characters in Smash 4 right now. Obviously, with the Smash DLC patch that we got lately, um, well the latest one at least, it had a lot of good characters. Lucas, he's okay. Boy, he's really good. And Ryu, he's so deep and complex that a lot of people haven't really tapped into his full potential. At Paragon, which I attended, uh, you saw some of Ryu's potential come out in the way that Mr. R played him against Allies Mario and good god almighty, it was one hell of a show. I don't know if all you dudes managed to see that but um that was one amazing showcase of Ryu however one thing did stick out to me that levels of super competitive play that involve you to really space yourself correctly and you know avoid opponent you know incoming moves as much as possible it made it sort of difficult for Ryu's focus to be bought out as much and one thing that I'm saying is that the combos now naturally of course most of Ryu's light hits combo into um, true Shoryuken but you didn't really see too much of the, the crazy long strung out combos that you did in his reveal trailer for instance or in Daddy Sakurai explain more details about him and not to say that this makes him like bad or whatever but the combos seem like they're a bit more difficult for people to get their hands on I tried Ryu out myself of course and you know even though I don't even have a fraction of competitive scope into actually utilizing a character really well, except for Robin, at the same time, I did kind of come to the determination that it's really difficult to use Ryu correctly due to the fact that his combos are kind of tough to comprehend and the fact that there are so many moves that he can do accidentally as well too with certain inputs, he's definitely somebody that you have to have a really deep and competitive mindset to be able to play him correctly. So, yeah, the, the, the whole reason why I quoted the whole Paragon experience is that it wasn't really too combo heavy the way Mr. R played him. He played him extremely well, but obviously, considering that it was super high levels of competitive play, Ally kind of clinched him out there, but I mean, it was a really close match. It was 2-2. That shit was insane, man. The, well, it was 2-2 in the finals. And the final was 3-2, of course, but I mean, still. Ryu definitely has that combo potential. So there's this um, thread that's on Reddit right now, which apparently is going to be showcasing new Ryu tech. Now, some of you dudes may have seen Rush Hour Smash's video where they showcase some of Ryu's tech. And then uh, I think Zero made a video as well too, describing some of what he thinks Ryu's tech is. And then we also had a video from My Smash Corner. And you guys know these dudes. They've discovered a lot of the conventional methods that people use in competitive play now. Maybe not, you know, discovered a ton of them, but they've definitely put them on the map and for the most part man it seems as if there is a lot of combo game with Ryu obviously there is but you know we, we just haven't really tapped into it too much so obvious so I'm very interested in this myself I really am because I think of course like Zero does and like everybody else does that Ryu has potential to be a super top tier character and I want to help people to realize that so I want to showcase this video to you dudes. I didn't watch it yet. I clicked into it a little bit. I said, you know what, this will be interesting to watch through and share with you dudes and see what your opinions are as well too. So definitely let me know in the comments. But we are going to take a look at this from Hooded Altair. And Altair is my favorite assassin from the Assassin's Creed universe. So you get props, my dude. But I'm super curious to see this new Ryu tech. Now I wonder, not, cause I wonder what kind of tech he's going to be showing off here because in our Rush Hour Smashes video, they showed us a lot of ways you can use footstooling with Ryu to gain advantage over an opponent as a string combos together. And with My Smash Corner, it was definitely super technical. Not that Falses wasn't, but I mean, My Smash Corner went into extreme detail. And like I said, it uh, seems like a lot of things connect to fucking Shoryuken, the true one. But um, there, was, there were more combos than that as well, too. But we didn't see any of those combos that um, My Smash Corner described being used in the battle that Mr. R and... You know, um, ally had against each other so why weren't those used as much maybe m maybe mr r didn't have any idea of what the combos were maybe he did but, you know different different styles of competitive play mean that you can't do certain things and one thing that ryu doesn't have is a combo out of his grab which is something that a lot of characters use to gain the upper hand so i mean the fact that ryu is a combo based character but he doesn't have a combo based grab is sort of redundant or rather not redundant but ridiculous <laughs> let's take a look at the video but okay, so let me turn the volume up on this thing a little bit. Because, like I said, I'm super curious about this. I wanted to use Ryu myself, but... Okay. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, wait. Is he doing a wave bounce? Is he doing a wave bounce? Um, wait a minute, hold on. Interesting. And it's the light variant, too. What? Interesting. Of course, it would depend on if they actually block it at that point. So what he does this? Mm. Once again, showing you anything to combo with you, sure you can. 
Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, this would depend greatly on how the opponent reacts to projectiles. And that's something, sadly, that combos definitely do depend on, especially perfect combos. Um, the fact that it's so difficult to try to hit a perfect combo in that way with Ryu, like the only one that I've really seen that people are able to pull off in fully competitive play is the, uh, <laughs> is that shit, <laughs> that fucking infinite. Um, and funny enough, that was actually used in one of um, Mr. R's KO schemes against Ally. Um, he, he did the up the up air, in, well, excuse me, um, the up tilt into um, True Shore Yukin. Now these... I mean, they could be considered combos, definitely, and it all depends on if you get hit with the Shaku. And considering that it does multiple hits as well, too, it locks you in place a little bit, you can run up and bam. But I don't know, man. I'm still waiting for that player to come through with Ryu that can do those savage combos that we saw on display in Sakurai's reveal. Um, you can, I mean, I know I sound like a really fucking competitive nink. I mean, a really uncompetitive nincompoop in saying that, but... Considering that's the kind of character that Sakurai built Ryu to be in Smash Brothers, I really want to see somebody utilize those combos in a full way in competitive play. Now, obviously, when you get to higher levels, like, you know, we're talking Mr. R and Ally here. These guys are fucking monsters in the game. Maybe combos of that complexity wouldn't be possible because obviously these guys are going to be well aware of those combos and how to avoid them, DI properly out of them, and things like that. So maybe I'm asking for a bit too much when it comes to those super high levels of competitive play. But... I've seen some videos as well, too, um, of Ryu doing some crazy shit with his um, focus attack as well, too, with the dashing back and forth and um, the mix-ups. It's amazing to see what some things are that competitive players are doing out there, but I'm still awaiting the day that we see somebody really take those combos to pen and paper and make them come out in their tournament play. It will be amazing to see anything like that. I know Ryu was used a bit more at Paragon than at other tournaments as well, so I'm happy to see that, and I just really hope that eventually we see this character come out in a way that... That, that we didn't even fucking expect, and that, that's what I'm really looking forward to. But I'm, let me let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Uh, what do you think of my analysis on Ryu and his combo game? Do you think that it's possible to do combos of a super high level in high level tournament play, or is it something that's, you know, it's, it's good. It seems like higher level tournament play is mostly about pokes and pokes that could potentially lead into combos um, or grabs that lead into combos, things like that. I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.